Let's talk about why that 100,000 is so hard to make initially. But then once you cross that barrier, it seems so much easier. Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's partner, is famous for saying, the hard part of the process for most people is the first hundred thousand dollars and the reason why he discusses this is because you really can't escalate you can't accelerate your growth and your improvement until you have some sort of a bankroll a nest egg getting that first hundred thousand is a top priority if you're looking at expanding and if you're looking at growing or building a business if you don't know me my name is Tony Maritato I'm a licensed physical therapist and private practice owner but I've been teaching clinicians since 2019 how to contract with Medicare become a Medicare provider and really use Medicare to pour fuel on the fire to grow a business and a practice more quickly. So that first hundred thousand though seems to be such a barrier. I wanted to spend a little time today talking about it, sharing my ideas and information on how I would reach that first hundred thousand as quickly as possible. And then what I would do once I crossed that hundred thousand dollar barrier. Let's do a little bit of math real quick. Let's talk about a therapist, a PT, OT, or SLP, it applies across the board, who chooses to become a contracted Medicare provider. On average for physical therapy here in Ohio, a four unit one-on-one -on -one session reimburses about $100. Some procedure codes are a little lower, some procedure codes are a little higher, but you can roughly estimate after primary pays 80%, secondary pays 20%, you're gonna average $100 in your bank account per hour of therapy to Medicare beneficiaries. If I was doing 20 visits a week, that's $2,000 a week. 50 weeks a year, assuming a simple two week vacation, I'm looking at 100,000 a year. The benchmark is really simple to calculate. How do I get 20 Medicare visits a week? What does that look like? How many referrals does that translate to? Well, obviously there's gonna be all kinds of plans of care and you're gonna have some high frequency, some low frequency, but roughly speaking, if I'm looking at 20 visits, at a two time a week frequency, I'm looking at 10 active patients. If some of those patients are gonna be coming three times a week, I might be looking at seven active patients. So while at first glance thinking, how do I make $100,000 a year? That might seem intimidating. But if instead I say, how can I average seven patients on my census in my first year? That's pretty doable. Right? Can I build a caseload of seven active Medicare beneficiaries? With that, that's where we go out and we say, okay, where do I start? What do I do? Obviously you start with your initial contacts, your personal social network. Who do you know that's not immediate family, that's not living in your household because Medicare clearly states you cannot bill for services delivered to direct family members or people living in your household. What contacts do I have among the population of Medicare beneficiaries who would genuinely benefit from physical therapy services, who have functional limitations, physical impairments that I could help to improve? Who is on the cusp of needing further assistance or further functional decline? You start with your immediate network. You talk to mom and dad you talk to aunts and uncles, you see what's going on, what kind of social groups they're part of, and you start reaching out. You invite them to be part of the project, which is grow to 100K. Your goal right now is how do I grow to, grow to 100K as quickly as possible? And then once you've initiated that process, you've gotten that snowball running down the hill, you will start to get a couple of referrals. 